develop positive rituals. I don't know if you're a tennis fan, but if you remember Bjorn Borg, one of the greatest tennis players of all time, winner of five Wimbledons, he wouldn't shave during the fortnight, during Wimbledon, and he would grow basically a beard. He developed that as a ritual. He believed that beard gave him strength. Well, there's other athletes that have done that. Wade Boggs would eat a chicken dinner the night before a game. Uh, you see this time and time again. There's athletes that develop rituals. There's also other successful people that develop rituals before a game. Another example is Ken Jennings. Ken Jennings was the famous Jeopardy champ. Do you know what he did before every uh, TV show? He would drive the same neon uh, rental car. He would drive it the same way to the studio. He would eat the same breakfast and he would basically have that cup of java and a donut the morning of the TV show. And he went on to a huge success. So we have to ask, are these really superstitions or are they positive rituals? Well, I don't think there's a, a big difference. But what I do suggest is that you develop a ritual that puts you into the right mental and emotional state. So at the start of the day, you might want to read a spiritual book that gives you a, a calm feeling. Maybe you want to go exercise uh, every morning. The idea here is if we create these positive rituals, they kind of push our emotions in the right direction over and over and over again. Uh, our body needs consistency. Our mind needs consistency. Our heart needs consistency. I'll give you a great example. I'm a professor. I never have to do a seating chart because all the students sit in the same exact seat every day for the whole semester. Isn't that crazy? Because they need consistency. We need consistency. So when we do positive rituals, it gives us a sense of consistency. It gives us a, cons a sense of comfort. It gives us a sense of relaxation and peace and that will make us perform better. So whether they're superstitions or not, what they ultimately do is give us a sense of peace and comfort, and that will always make you perform better. So what I ask for you to do is figure out a positive ritual that you can develop every day so that you can push your emotions in a positive way every day so that you'll perform at your best time and time again.